We are now heading to Bosnia for the very first time in our lives. Um, we are going to Banja Luka, which is where my mom and my grandparents are actually from. My mom was born in Canada, but our grandparents and everyone's there, so we actually have never been. Uh, we've heard about it for so many years. So this will be a very much a Bosnia Banja Luka vlog. Adrian, are you excited? I am excited. Mom, are you excited? Very. My mom actually used to go um, every summer, every other summer, right? Yep. Um, back to this place. So she has a very fond memory. So it'll be fun to sort of see like where our grandparents are from, like what house they lived in, what like bars my mom went to and all that kind of stuff. My mom also said she had a few summer loves there. So <laughs> we're, um, we might meet one of her ex lovers who they're just friends now. So. Forget. Anyways. Food. Welcome to the Bye. Bye. vlog. We just stopped at like pretty much a grocery store the minute we got into Bosnia. We just bought three bottles of water, two like Magnum type ice cream bars. My mom got a smoothie. What else did you, is that what we got? They're big bottles of water. Huge bottles of water, like 1.5 liters. And it was eight Canadian dollars. I feel like we just robbed the place blind. These alone would be like five or six bucks in Canada. Are they so? I think they would be. So Bosnia, we're on to a good start. of a stop because it's pouring rain and hailing. Adrienne is freaking out. <laughs> I am calm as a clam. So we've been here for about 15 minutes. It actually looks like it's clearing a little bit. If I'm honest, I'm the one that's been freaking out. <laughs> I'm just not very comfortable being in a foreign country like this. We will, we will, we're only 85 kilometers away as well, so we're actually not that far. We made it to Banja Luka, and it, if I had showed you guys how long it took us to find this place, we went up and down the stairs like three or four times. We could not find the key. We finally got here, and it's actually a very nice um, Airbnb. So I'll show you guys that. This is the entryway. There's my sister charging her phone. You have a full kitchen over here. Dining area, that's my room over there. And then there's a little like wing on this side that has one of the other bedrooms, which is probably gonna be my mom's room. Also a lot of extra space over there. And this is like a kind of a random crawl space. You have a bathroom. The coolest part, which I can't show you right now because we just closed everything up, but oh, one more room over there is we have this like little indoor outdoor space, which is kind of cool. So you have beanbag chairs, a big outdoor couch kind of hang out here. We thought there was a hot tub, um, there is not. And I'll show you where I'm sleeping. <coughs> we just got here, so it's a mess. This is my little room, it should be perfect. I got a salmon, which looks really good. I got chicken stuffed with prosciutto and mozzarella, but I think it's wrapped in prosciutto as well with grilled veggies. It's so good. Adriana yeah. just embraces European culture. So now we have to go up all these steps to our Bosnian. Oh my god, the light can't even capture this. So, for whatever reason, the lights in the hall do not work. So, every morning, every night, you have to go in literal darkness to make our way downstairs. They try to wave. It is day two in Banja Luka, and we really didn't do much yesterday. We pretty much went out for dinner, and now we're walking to sort of the main strip. There's mom, there's Adriana. Adriana really thinks these, these vlogs are gonna help her build an audience, so. Uh -huh. My claim to fame though. Yeah, so my mom's family's all from here, so she knows like the area pretty well. I mean, she hasn't been back in like 30 years, so it'll be fun to sort of see what she, how she thinks everything is or if things have changed or not, so that'll be fun. 
So, oh, I have like no battery left almost. So this is the building that my mom says, who lived here? Aunt. Our aunt or our here. great aunt. And she used to stay here while she's doing her hair. Um, so it's kind of cool. I have no idea what it looks like before because I've never seen it, but. And then our grandmother, our great grandmother lived across the street. It is a new day. We're still in Banyaluca for another day, I believe, or two days. Um, but today, we're actually gonna be driving around more to see more of the city and sort of where our grandparents are from, pretty much, and where they lived, and um, where else are we going? Where your grandmother's from. My grandmother's from a small village, I guess, from here. And then we're gonna see if, like, the house that they were in, if it's still there, if there's any remnants of it. And then... Grandfather's home grandfather's homes I guess I don't know we're gonna see a few things and it'll be kind of a blast from the past not for me but for my mom because she hasn't been back in like 30 plus years and we've never seen it so so we didn't really have a ton of luck finding the house that my grandfather um, grew up in or the one that my mom remembers so I think uh, there was an earthquake, my mom said before, too, that kind of like took most of it out, and I think they all left after the war. So who knows if the neighborhood changed or the homes around it developed or the house got knocked down, we can't really tell. Um, so no luck there, but now we're going to my grandmother's uh, village, where she's from. So that's a little bit out of town by like eight or nine kilometers, so it's not too far. Ooh, road bump, road bump, speed bump. So now we're gonna go down. So no luck here either, but I don't think we really know what we're looking for. My mom had said that my grandmother moved out of this village when she was six, right? So she hasn't really been here that much either, so it's hard to really know what we're looking for. It's a lot of old homes and stuff. Like right now we're sort of in like, kind of like farmlandy. There's actually a grave right to the left of us and there's actually a cornfield over here. So a cornfield over here and then I'll show you guys the grave. Cemetery. Cemetery. Right there. So, yeah. Lots of, it's, it's very cool. It's actually very pretty and it's a little bit more of a breeze here, I find, um, which is kind of nice. But we are just going through our family history on my mom's side and seeing where everyone is somewhat from. We don't know the actual, actual homes, but we have, um, we get a sense of the environment. I think that's kind of nice because we've just heard stories our whole lives about it, so to actually see it all now, it's kind of like, it's cool. We decided to take a little bit of a trip to this like monastery here to get um, cheese. So apparently only a few countries in the world, and Bosnia is one of them, where they have this special type of cheese that monks make. So we're hoping we can get some cheese. How do you feel about the cheese journey? Um, I'm excited because I love cheese, but you forgot the part that the recipe is Oh yes. Told orally, so only a few people know how to make it and yes. pass down as they die, essentially. That is true. So no one, you can't make this cheese at home. So. And no one can get the recipe because unless you become a monk. So we actually just did the tour um, of the church and we got some cheese and we got some beer, but I could take a few clips. I was allowed to do that, but I wasn't gonna like talk <laughs> or you know, make um, any points throughout the video during the, the tour. But we actually almost had like a private tour. Um, this lady, she was super nice. She sold us the cheese and the beer and she just like, so, yeah, I can show you guys. She showed us and it was really, really nice. And um, the church was beautiful. I think they're always beautiful in Europe, but um, it was really cool to sort of see some of the history here. We've made our way to lunch. Is there downs? Made, um, we made our way down to, uh, what do we call this, a river? 
I would say a river with like a, a small Yeah. She got this recommended to us by a local. We were having food the other day. Uh, and this woman, we were just talking to her and her little son, and then she was like, you know what, if you guys want to find a place, and there's this really great place by the river, blah, 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 and we're gonna try the food now. We're gonna, I'm sure it'll be good. It already looks like it's a cool place. Like the whole vibe here is pretty cool, but. Very hipster, actually. Yeah. Or you can see some of that. Yeah. Accordion, the harp, clarinet. I've been pretty bad at vlogging the rest of the day, but this is my outfit. I feel like I've been the really hard one to like get dressed every day because I'm like, is it too hot? My outfits are too cute. Do I want that? I don't want to like sweat in them. So this is a song and dance. Tell them what really happened. You forgot to pack appropriately. For no, but I have everything. Weather. Because I don't have cute out like who has cute outfits for 40 degree weather unless you're by a beach. So it's not about looking cute. It's about being practical. There's actually a castle here in Banja Luka, which we are going to, but funny enough, there's like a kid event happening, so there's like a bunch of kids, so we're not actually sure if it's open, and I don't think we want to be around that many kids, so, but it is beautiful, but we're, what we are seeing is really beautiful. What'd you find, Adriana? You gonna go in? I don't know, I haven't decided. Do I? I see a cute pack. Is it a cute pack? It's another beautiful day in Banja Luka. This is our third full day here, but we actually are going to be leaving today, I think. Is it our fourth full day here? I think like three days of actually doing stuff. The first day was driving in. But um, yeah, so we're just going to go to this like spa type thermal bath thing. I don't know the actual word for it, I'll have to figure it out, but we're doing that, then we're heading back to scene, and then tomorrow we're going to Primostan, which is a beach town in Croatia, which we're going to spend some time, and we need it, it is like much needed beach weather, because it is, like we're not getting a tan, and I think we need one. I feel like every time we take a road trip, we end up getting little snacks, so that's a Croatian donut. Did you just eating. watch me spit my gum out? That's no, I did it. Adrian's mm. eating a pizza. And then I got, or we got two of these little like burek things, which are filled with cheese, which is a traditional thing here. And then we got these called, burek, or sidnice, and this is like a little cornbread thing. Are we going? Tell people how happy you are to walk. Oh, I'm happy to walk. I'm unhappy that I'm being forced. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get any footage of us in this like thermal bath thing that we were supposed to go to, but it was actually not that exciting. <laughs> I feel bad because my mom was like, wanted to go, but I don't think she knew what it was either. She just like heard about it and then thought it was cool, but it was literally, I swear to God, just a pool. <laughs> had like lukewarm water. <laughs> Arguably, it was kind of chilly. And then we had to go to this, the salt, the salt room, salt cave thing was actually cool, I'll be honest. That part I actually enjoyed. I passed out. <laughs> I just left. <laughs> we got our iced coffees. Show, show them yours. Iced coffees are very hard to find here. So, not hard good. to find, uncommon. And tell them how much it was. Three marks. Three marks, which is like we think like a dollar eighty, maybe just two, just under two. Under two dollars for two soy iced coffees. Okay, so we just got back to the apartment. It's literally packing time, which I packed way too much to come here for a few days. I have two suitcases and they're all upside down. Okay, we've made progress. Packed over there, packed over there. And time to go. And then the laundry had a little bit of a problem and now they're folding the laundry. What's this? Uh, swim shorts. This pretty much wraps up the Bunya Luka vlog. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm wearing a tank top, which I normally don't wear. So I'm like, I feel very naked in the car. 
but we actually had a really good time. It was really fun to sort of see where parts of, you know, our family came from or like on my mom's side came from, sorry. It was really hot. Um, it was a really fun city to sort of like, you know, kind of look around in and stuff. Um, the food, I will say, was really, really good. I was really surprised. There's a lot of local dishes that we had. I will link some of the restaurants that we tried down below. If you guys are ever in Banyaluca and you want to try them. I made a TikTok video as well um, about um, the places to eat and things like that or things you want to do here. And I think everyone else had fun too. Adriana, how did you find Banyaluca? Very tasty. Just food wise? I love to eat. Okay. <laughs> Mom, how'd you like your trip? I really enjoyed being here with my kids and I liked going back through some of the areas that I was in before. Awesome. Well, lived. there you go. Well, now we're back, we're getting head, we're gonna head back to Croatia now for a week at the beach. And then after that, Greece and all of that stuff, I'll, you know, document anyways. But thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week. Okay.